going on guys it's me zap and i figured i'd bring y'all a video uh you know i put some videos up uh, not too long ago about um building pc rigs and stuff like that for a certain budget and one of my all right i, mean, I don't want to say my but i got a comment on one of my videos that was posted in january asking to uh, post a new one for an 800 hundred dollar budget and you know i mean i, I aim to please so I figured I'd go ahead and do it um, before this week's get started, and I have like 1,300 midterms that I have to do. And plus, this gave me a real good chance to get on Battlefield 3 and Pub Stomp. Um, I don't really put up a whole lot of Battlefield 3 videos just because EA likes to take them down, and I really do like the Pub Stomp. And that, and I've been playing a lot of Crisis 3, and I'm really super busy with school, also. So now that's all out of the way. We're going to get a sell this build. He asked me to do an $800 AMD build. Um, so, you know, it's like I figured out obliging and uh, hook him up with my expertise. So, we're going to start out right now. And we're going to start out with uh, the FX 8320. I really wanted to get the 8350. Um, it's like $15 more. But this way, it falls right into the budget. Um, I go like $3 over, but there's like four mailing rebates so if that's something I mean, 803 dollars ain't really that bad so like i said we're going to start with the 8320 and we're going to put it on azrock 970 extreme 3 motherboard i've used this motherboard and i absolutely love it i built a amd 9 uh rig with a 955 one of the old phenom 2s and this is the board that i used and i was super happy with it it's got a lot of features for the price point and it's really good at overclocking even in Windows and in the UEFI BIOS. So, I mean, if you're going to get an unlocked processor, especially in 8 core, you might as well as overclock it. Let's face it. So, got some good overclocking CPU, good overclocking motherboard. And to keep it all cool, we're going to use the Core Master Hyper 212 Plus. And this is one of the most popular aftermarket CPU cores. Um, Air, that is, uh, the Corsair Hydro Series has the, you know, the popular award in the water cooling down pat, so, you know, we're going to stick with the Core Master on this one. And going with Core Master, we're going to put it up in the Core Master half 912 case, higher flow, keep everything nice and cool, and it offers some room for expansion. It's not the most eloquent of cases, but for 59, or it's actually 69.99 now. But that price point, it's actually really, really good. There's some other cases that you could have went into, say like an Antec or something. But I've had a lot of luck out of Cooler Master cases. It's what I use. So that's what I'm wanting to recommend. As I lost words there for a while. So that's what I'm going to recommend for that one. And then we're going to use G Skill Ripjaws X Series RAM, 8 gig of 1600. And RAM has went up since the last time I bought it. It really has. I spent $95 on 16 gig of 1866. And this RAM is $63 for 8 gigs of 1600. So RAM's kind of taking a little hike, it seems, in prices. I don't know why, but it has. Then we're going to use like a 500 gig Seagate Barracuda. I really like to have recommended a 1 terabyte and even an SSD. But. This is an $800 rig, so I want to put most of the money into the processor, the video card, power supply, stuff like that. You know, real essential type stuff. I mean, if you've got the extra money to throw an SSD, it's very recommended that you get one. But if you don't have the money, you definitely want to spend them in other places that are more important, such as, you know, the video card processor, and you really want to get a nice power supply. So, talking about the power supply. We're going to go with a Corsair CX600. 600 watt power supply. It's not modular, but it is 80 plus bronze. And it's Corsair, so you know it's going to be good quality. And that's really what you need to look for whenever you use the power supply. Whenever you buy one, you want to look for something that's high quality that you can depend on so that you don't fry your parts. So that's why I went with it. And for the creme de la creme, the GPU, we are going to go with the new hasn't been out that long. Sapphire 7870 XT with boost. And uh, this is 
you know, one of the new ones that they put out for the 7870. It's $250. I spent 270 on my Hawk Edition card, and this thing raffle stops it. The 7870 XT can keep its own with the 660 Ti and the 7950 and gets pretty close to 670 so for the price point of $250 is definitely a must buy in that price point nothing can compare to it I mean there's just nothing around that price range that can hold its own to it and it performs really really well and it does have the boost feature and it's one of the newest additions to the 7000 lineup so that being said though that's all the parts you know I mean you could add a $20 uh, DVD burner and put you about $830 this right here is what I could put into it, and this is actually going to rickroll. I mean, you're going to be able to play Crisis 3, uh, Battlefield 3, all the games you want to on high, some of them ultra, at 1080p with really good frame rates. So, if you know you got $800 budget, this is definitely a system that I would go and take a look at. Um, you couldn't build an Intel system with this many features for the same price. And, uh, a lot of the new benchmarks that have really shown the AMD with their CPUs, the new ones, the power driver, are actually really holding their own in a lot of tasks. Um, not the synthetic, but the real world benchmarks. They're actually keeping up and outperforming Intel. So that's something good to hear. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps anybody out there. And uh, the rest of the video, you can quit it or you can watch me pump stomp and shoot this dude off this thing because he made me mad. And, uh, if you're going to be up on the crane, I'm going to shoot you down. I don't care how good a sniper you are, you're coming down there. He got me that time, but next time he don't. So, peace out.